So sometimes you really have to slow down on these nomenclature problems to make sure that you're getting it right. Very good. Technically speaking, this is a cis or a Z double bond, isn't it? It's a, yeah. However, I don't think your instructor would expect you to say that because in rings, rings almost, only have, um, rings almost always are cis, oh, okay. not trans. If you think about it, it would be almost impossible to draw a six-membered ring with a trans because then number four would be over here and the ring wouldn't close. So generally speaking, rings are almost always cis. Your instructor probably does not expect you to name this with a, with a cis or a trans. So this is probably the name that your instructor was going for. Okay, and that's what you got. So good. Well, I would recommend uh, doing more nomenclature problem from the, uh, problems from uh, the book. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.